So decision support systems for middle managers, they are mostly used for semi-structured decision making and those have components from the structured as well as the unstructured decision making types. So middle managers, you typically use MIS and uh, we explained what MIS or management information systems uh, do. They, they uh, retrieve or they integrate data from different parts within the organization and then they make it easier for or it can be in a data warehouse in the data the data mart where analysis can be done from it either data mining or OLAP or or uh, uh, the other other analyses so uh, increasingly uh, middle managers have you know, been using uh, online and queried interactively and uh, they also focus on exception reports so for example if they're this when the sales quota for a specific territory for example fall below an anticipated level then they tend to uh, go and and see what's going on why is that going below the anticipated level and investigate and try to fix those <clears throat> so this the graph or this slide shows us the different types of business intelligence. So we have users who are power users who produce business intelligence. And then we have casual users or they are consumers of this business intelligence, right? So 80% of employees are consumers of business intelligence, while 20% of employees are producers of business intelligence. So Power users or producers includes IT developers, software engineers, uh, super users, business analysts, analytical modelers, right? and and uh, their capabilities that can be enabled. Uh, production reports. This is like what we said earlier. It includes the sales performance of uh, of employees. It includes the sales forecasts, parametrized um, uh, reports. Those are where there are filters for uh, a report and you can filter based on region based on uh, time of the day like the example of Starbucks that we did earlier then dashboards like what we did in Tableau uh, that is used by senior managers and then ad hoc queries that's like the SQL that we did in class and uh, forecast what if analysis uh, just as examples so support for semi-structured decisions include decision support system which uh, and then they include mathematical analytical models uh, they allow very ty various types of analyses such as what if analyses so for example what if the product price went up by a certain amount and the ad budget went by uh, went out by us uh, one million what will be our sales? Will it increase or decrease, and, uh, and and so on. And then we have sensitivity analysis again. That's like uh, uh, when we have break even, or if the price increased, and if the uh, you know uh, the the unit cost decreased or increased. Right. And then we have backward sensitivity analysis. So this is example of it is the goal seek that. Uh, feature that is available in Excel. So for example, if you want to sell 1 million products, how much the price should be reduced, right? And then we, uh, in, in the decision support systems or semi-structured decisions include multi-dimensional analysis or all up. So you have noticed that in Tableau, when we looked at the menu on the left side, we had uh, the dimensions on the top and then the measures in the bottom. So the dimensions, they are basically the categorical variables, right? And the measures, they are the continuous variables. So dimensions include like regions, product type, uh, just as examples. And uh, dimensional and all up looks similar to pivot tables like that we, we did in class. So this is a sensitivity analysis. So when the price is three, uh, uh, the cost per unit is three and the sales average sales price is seven so that break even is going to be 1357 here and so what would be our sales if 
uh, the cost per price increased or the sales price increased or decreased. So this is a sensitivity analysis example. And this is an example of multi-dimension. So we have two dimensions here. We have the region, uh, and this is using pivot tables. So the one, one dimension is the region, and the other dimension is the source of advertisement, whether it is email or web, and the regions, and the number of uh, customers that were attracted based on this triangulation, right? The region versus the source of the advertising. So then we have uh, executive support systems, which are um, the decision support for senior managers, the C-suite managers. And it helps executives focus on the important performance information. But how can we define what is important performance information? So therefore, senior managers, they need to follow a certain methodology. So we have two methodologies. The balance scorecard is one of the methodologies and performance management uh, is another uh, methodology. Let's look at the balance scorecard methodology first, which basically operationalizes the organizational strategic plan and set and this um, what we mean by operationalizing organizational strategic plan it it makes it measurable it makes it so for example here uh, it specifies the measures outcomes on four dimensions so we have the financial dimension business process dimension customer dimension learning and growth dimension and every dimension has key performance indicators right that measure that uh, dimension right and we will go through each one of those so who comes up with those uh, balance scored methods or come up uh, comes up with those outcomes or dimensions or, or key performance indicators for each of those dimensions it's usually set by consulting firms and senior executives right and those strategic plan actually is set by consulting firms and senior executives so examples for key performance indicator for financial uh, which is done in the past. So financial, it's already done in the past. We can change it, what happened already, but we can change business processes, customer and learning and growth dimensions to improve uh, financial dimension in the future, right? So the financial di dimension includes return on investment. And so business processes includes one key performance indicator for it is process execution time. And the customer dimension includes customer satisfaction as one of the key KPI or key performance indicators or the average time to deliver package to a customer. And learning and growth includes one KPI or key performance indicator for it is employee turnover. And this is a great example or a graph that uh, shows the key performance indicators for each of those dimensions in the balance scorecard framework. So then uh, another methodology uh, is the business performance management, which is again set by consulting companies and uh, also uh, senior executives. This methodology translates the firm strategies such as differentiation, low cost uh, uh, producer or market share growth uh, into operational, operational targets. So in other words, we can measure those it, it transforms those overall strategies to measurable uh, objectives or goals right and uses kpi developed to measure progress toward those targets so data for executive uh, support systems include internal data from enterprise applications remember we when we talked about enterprise applications in one of the chapters we talked about erp enterprise resource planning supply chain management and customer relationship management systems so those are the enterprise uh, applications and then uh, also you know, uh, executive support systems they utilize external data such as financial market database that was all that i wanted to cover for uh, this uh, uh, chapter and i yeah we'll see you soon